Hello again. I've made another joystick tester and I wanted to show a different joystick being used. Here we go. We have the Altoids can, the LEDs, and this one has the Chase the Chuck Wagon logo on the front and Atari on the back. All right. Now, we have here what's it? Bad pot in auto fire. Okay. And this is a Ultimate Super Stick. What is it made by? Bishu. All right. And can you hear that? Micro switches. The best way to do a joystick on a 2600. And this one has, let me go ahead and set that aside. Got left and right. And when I open this up, this has some extra holes under the label. So I can make it for something else if I wanted to. But anyway, neat joystick. This is the focus for today. Okay. Got the LEDs. They're a little bit more spaced out than the original. Here's the original. A little bit more spaced out, see? And I left this one unpainted because I think it adds just another unnecessary step. Plus, this looks like an Altoids can. The first one was cool, but whatever. So I'm going to pause it real quick to plug in because it's a tight fit. Hold on. Okay, we're plugged in. Now, if you'll notice, there's a light on. Why is there a light on? Nothing is being pressed. Well, it just so happens that I had taken this joystick apart and otherwise checks out okay. But this has a potentiometer in it. See, watch. Watch the light as I turn it on turns on that potentiometer right it's got a twist and clicks off right okay now when it's not pressed it does keep firing and an Atari does not like that okay now this will test that switch and there's that all right so we know this thing has a bad potentiometer in here because all these fire buttons are hooked to here. Turn it's turned off. Auto fire is turned off. Turn it on. It's a full hit. So it's connecting regardless of what I do. Or maybe the a 2600 does not like uh the fact that the button is being uh, gone through a potentiometer. So there's that. 